Yeah, let's do this. Welcome back to the farm. So, today I'm going to be working on high elf jack. High elf jacks are amazing tools. They're a little dangerous, so if you've never used one, you use them with caution. Biggest issue you have with them is if your wheels aren't chalked, you know, put a load here, they can tip. So, how they're supposed to work is you flip this little lever up. So by flipping that lever up, you're supposed to start jacking it up. So, and then flipping it to lower it, you flip that down and it's supposed to ratchet down. The plan is we're gonna pop those pins out and replace them. So if you run into this issue, odds are you don't have to buy a new high lift jack. Just go to your farm and garden store and you should find these high lift kits. Basically, it's the consumable bits that usually get fouled up. So the first thing I'm trying to figure out how to do is we gotta get these pins out. I think the easiest way to do that is you take a punch and a hammer, which I don't have a punch, I have a flathead screwdriver, and these, and we're just gonna bang it out. I really hate it when these pins bend because they are a pain in the butt to deal with. Doesn't this make you just want to go out to your high lift jack and bend it just so you can play with it? All right, so I'm having real issues getting these pins out. So I got this weird Hootis Dremel thingamajig. I'm gonna try it. Let's see if I can't get it out with that. I got the Michael Jackson look going on. That's the way through. Okay. So that worked. So I just used a Dremel with a cutoff disc, and that was probably the easiest way to get this thing out. And since I already have new ones, I'm just gonna leave that pin in. So to recap at this point, I've ripped the spring off, and then used the Dremel to cut this pin off. And that was probably the fastest way I could think of to get this pin out. If there's a better way to do it, let me know in the comments, but for what tools I have on hand, and for as bent up and mangled as that was, that was probably the best way I could think of to do it. So this pin here is also kind of being goofy. Let's see if I can get this to spin back to where it's supposed to be. There we go. That pins back how it's supposed to be. Not being to be driven. Okay. So I just drove this pin further. It's still straight. I see no issues with this top pin. So I'm not worried about that. We're gonna let that one be. So we're just gonna be replacing the bottom one. So I'm just gonna put my spring in place. So orientation of the pin. It goes like this with this diagonal on the uphill side. So your actual point is on the downhill side. So this is how it's supposed to be. And this is how I have it in here. So now I get to fight this spring loaded pin and try to get this retaining pin in. Doesn't that? Isn't this gonna be fun? There we go, make progress. Ah, crap. The spring. The spring needs to be on the top of the pin, not in between the pin. Okay, let's try to do it.
All right, so it's working in the up fashion. And I have a functioning pile of jack again. Look at that. I can pretend to be a mechanic. Woohoo! I'm not a mechanic by any means. All of this is self taught, learn as I go. Take it for what it is. I'm a random guy on the internet fixing shit around his farm. It's what it truly comes down to. So, if you know of a better way to do this, leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what I did right, what I did wrong, faster, easier ways. You know, if there's something somebody else could do to make it easier, but the Dremel with the small little disc, I think that's about as fast a method as you can to pop these bent pins out, is just cut them off. Because once the big pin is out, then you can put it in a vise, take a punch to it, and easily drive it out, or just, you already got a kit that has all the new pins in it. You just put a new one in and yeah, that makes me happy. Oh, I'm Ben with MD Trip Creek. If you're actually watching to the end, then obviously you must like this video or you're hate watching it. Either way, hit the like and subscribe button. So that way you can hate watch some more of these videos. So, again, I'm Ben. Have a good one. Balance. Balance. Please don't hit me in the head. Thank you for not falling and hitting me in the head.